welcome back to my channel. As we are about to start the brand new month of September, I've taken a look at my calendar and I've noticed I have a lot of really exciting things coming up. I've got my show that's going to open in just a week. Audition season is just around the corner and as school has just started, I have booked three to four master classes that I will do at various high schools and two colleges for the academic school year. With all that being said, I have decided that I wanna make my health a little bit more of a priority in my everyday life. For the past 14 months, I have worked in a very sedentary job where I'm not as active anymore. I have like my own office where I sit a majority of the day and combined with a decently okay diet, not always, but I would say at least 60 to 70% of the time I make good choices, but that 30 to 40 time that I don't, it's usually late night eating or just being stressed out and just excuses and excuses are, are useless. I don't want them anymore, so I'm trying to make my health and fitness a little bit more of a priority. So today's video is focusing on my weight loss plan. I could sit here and make all the excuses of my life, my job, this and that, it's not my fault. At the end of the day, it is my fault because if I really wanted it, I would make it a priority. I wanted to make YouTube videos, so I woke up at five o'clock two days a week to make the videos. If I really wanted health and fitness, I could I not wake up the other three work days and go to the gym? But anyway, there's only one direction you ever go in life and that is forward. That is the direction I'm going to go now. Well, I can't change the sedentary lifestyle of my everyday job, I can change the activities that I do before and after work. I can change the kind of meals I eat. I can change my mental health and my attitude. These are things I think will really help me in losing 10 pounds. And that is my goal that I would like to strive for is losing 10 pounds. Pounds. Before I jump into any of this, I would like to just let it be known that I am not a doctor. I am not giving anybody advice on how to change their life. I am just letting you know what I am doing and how I am going to try to achieve my goals. So without any further ado, here is how I plan to do that. So I got really, really nerdy and I wrote out an actual like decorated meal plan that has my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I like to try to keep them consistent during the weekdays because it makes it really easy when I meal prep. I know exactly what to have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I'm trying to have a low carb diet. I have used my fitness pal always when trying to track my macros, my calories, and all that good stuff. But I noticed that I was having a lot, like over 100 grams of carbs. Right now I'm trying to keep my calories at 1,500, so 1,500 calories. 55 grams of carbs and 45 grams of sugar. Those are the three components that I want to focus more on. I know people focus on their macros, you know, the fats, proteins, and carbs. But for me right now, I know that I really crave and want sugar a lot and I wanna have the breads and the pastas and the cookies and all that stuff which come with carbs. So I believe watching my calories, carbs, and sugar are going to be the name of the game when I try to lose 10 pounds. Breakfast for the work week are going to be half an avocado, one cup of strawberries, and two hard boiled eggs for 300 calories, 19 carbs, and nine grams of sugar. Now I know those carbs and sugar are coming from fruits, so I'm not like upset about them. I know they are there. Lunch is going to be stuffed pepper, carrots, and hummus, homemade hummus by the way, and a quarter cup of nuts, either walnuts or unsalted peanuts for 518 calories, 24 carbs, and 11 grams of sugar. Dinner has been my recent obsession and it is entree salads. For somebody who hates salads, like hates them, I love entree salads. I put spinach on the plate and I cover it with one tablespoon of vinaigrette and I shake it up, cup, cut up a pear, I cannot speak, cut up a pear, put some feta cheese, walnuts, maybe some dried cranberries, and then if I'm really feeling it, a half a cup of cooked tuna. That will equal somewhere between 360 to 400 calories, 12 carbs, and 10 grams of sugar. Without any snacks, that gets me to 1,200 calories a day, 55 carbs, and 30 grams of sugar. And if I do need extra snacks, I have extra hard-boiled eggs, fish, blueberries, a little bit of cheese, and then if I'm really craving sugar, like I really want to have it, I have a quarter cup of dark chocolate chips. Those wondering how I made this, I went onto my fitness pal and I just made the goals that I wanted to lose one pound a week. It gets you, you know, your ideal caloric intake and then your proteins, carbs, sugars. It's all on there. It's a completely free app. I cannot recommend it enough. Not sponsored, but Google my fitness pal if you want more information. And then I just made this on a template on the computer with like my picture and I just made it really pretty. So I put it on my fridge and want to follow it. 
When it comes to exercise, I was the queen of excuses. Oh, I have a meeting. Oh, I have rehearsal. Oh, I want to sleep in this day. This is my rest day. I'm on a break. I can't do it. I just don't want to. Like, I would make an excuse for any reason to not exercise. And my number one excuse was, I spend X amount of hours in an office every day. So I combated that excuse and I made a exercise plan that I do in the office. If anybody wants this, I mean, I just literally made this on a template. I am more than willing to email this to anybody who wants it, but it's literally a workout plan that I called the three fourths workout because in one minute, three fourths of that minute, I'm exercising and one fourth I rest. So let's see if you guys can see this. I'll put it up close. I have 10 exercises. Each of them I do for 45 seconds and then I rest for 15 seconds. And then at the bottom it says complete two times a day plus one 30 minute walk. Because I meal prep my lunches, I will eat my lunch in my office between 15 minutes to a half hour if I'm reading or taking a class or something. Then the other half an hour of my hour long break, I will go out to a park next door to my office and I will walk while listening to a podcast or just music or something like that. But doing this twice a day, I've only done this so far two days, but it makes you work. But my brain thinks I'm not working because I'm only doing each of these workouts for 45 seconds with a 15 second break. If you're wondering how I time this out, there is a video on YouTube. It's like 45 second intervals. If you just search that, it's a video that's literally dings every 45 seconds and then 15 seconds, 45 seconds, 15 seconds. So I know when to be working out and when to rest. Once again, if you would like this, let me know down in the comment section and I will get it emailed out to you guys or I'll just put a link online that you can click or maybe you can put it on like a Pinterest pin. It will be available to you in some capacity if you would like my made three-fourths workout. All I know is I've done these moves in different workouts and they've made me work and I tried to get my arms, abs, legs, core, all that stuff included in this workout. But that is my current plan on how I'm going to try to lose 10 pounds. I do not have a specific deadline I want it done, but if I could see a little bit of weight come off each and every week, I would be very happy with that. I will be doing weigh-ins one time a week. I used to weigh in every single day, but it became too stressful. I felt a lot of pressure and I didn't want to feel that way this time around. There are some YouTubers that are quote unquote shredding for the wedding. You guys are awesome. I watch all of your videos. I don't think I'll do weigh-ins like you guys, but I will every once in a while on like a random video give an update. And then maybe at the end of the journey, once I get there, because I'm going to get there, but once I get there, I will let you guys know how it worked, what went well, what didn't. If you guys want to be helpful, leave me a comment down below and ask me, did I do my workout today? Because I will honestly tell you, maybe I'll feel a little bit more motivated so I can say yes and let you know that I did do my workout today. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these kind of weight loss self-improvement videos, give this one a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And if you're watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much once again, and I will see you in the next one.